To showcase the effectiveness of the Umarex Hammer 50 caliber air gun, we'll be joining Michael Wurzig on a whitetail hunt here in South Texas. However, it's not off to a great start. Our evening did not go as planned, to say the least. We got in and we had cows coming in all night. I think I got out of the stand three or four times and run cows off and finally our deer comes in and we're thinking it's gonna go down, it's gonna happen. He gives me a perfect broadside shot. I pull the trigger, I didn't close the bolt all the way because nothing happened. You just heard a click and off he ran. He never came back. We held out hope till the last minute, but that's how hunting goes. It was a fun sit and uh, we get to come back and try again in the morning. So. This morning, we're gonna try a new spot. Yesterday afternoon, it didn't work out for us. We're gonna try a new area. We've got multiple shooter bucks coming to this camera. Um, you know, I'm just kind of hoping it works out today. After last night, it was pretty rough. So let's hope, it, uh, let's hope today goes better. So we decided to go to the pipeline in the morning. It feels perfect. You know, there's not much wind. It's nice and cool. The rut is going on. And our morning kind of fizzles out pretty quickly. I don't know if they could hear us or if they were smelling us, but those deer came in and they were real nervous. You can tell when they're nervous from the get-go. They come in, put their head down, look up, look over. They just knew something wasn't right. And it, I think we watched them for five minutes and they were gone. We saw a couple of young bucks, uh, one real funky deer, you know. <laughs> I enjoy watching those funky ones. Some people would call him a cull. I don't really know how I'd feel about him, but he was, uh, he was nice to have out there for a little bit because our morning was pretty slow. Well, our streak continues from last night, dealing with cows and the morning or hunting just not going how you plan it to. We had a bunch of doe get out there early this morning. We had one young buck and all of a sudden they took off. Then later in the morning we have another buck come in, some more doe start coming in. And then a cow from across the field just decides, I'm going to just charge these suckers. He came in running at them. They all flew out of here. And I'm thinking that's the end of our morning. <laughs> Luck's got to change eventually, but that's just how it goes. Michael is determined to knock down a white sail with the Umarex 50 caliber hammer air gun. After a few hunts of bad luck, he goes with his gut and returns to the same blind he sat in in the morning, hoping a shooter will come in. After our morning hunt at the pipeline, you know, your confidence isn't really high. Those deer come in, they spook off. You're, you're thinking, man, I need to move the blind or I need to set it up for a different wind. I mean, all these things kind of go through your head, but we just decided to risk it and do it again. We had that funky deer come in again. We had some small bucks. We had does, we had fawns, and you know, the, the hunt starts to get later and later and we're seeing more and more deer, but we're not seeing any shooters. It's getting late and I saw a deer way off to the right down the pipeline and he was just running around. I don't know if he was chasing the doe or if he was real nervous about something, but he was booking it up and down. He came in pretty close one time and Kevin couldn't see him. And the next thing I see is a tail and he's hauling butt across the other end of the pipeline. I'm thinking, well, there goes that chance. About five minutes later, 
it's really starting to get dark. We're really getting into the last moment. And I know that is a cliche. Everybody says last moment, last hunt. This truly is the last moments of our hunt. We had one more morning we could have hunted, but you're, we're, we're kind of starting to feel down. We're feeling pressure. And I see him coming off to the right. At one point, he turned right and walked about 20 yards, and I thought, there goes our chance. The more you hunt, the more you read deer body language, and his body language was not saying, I'm coming back. He started walking off, and I'm thinking it's the rut. He probably sees a doe. He's been out in the field running. He's probably about to run off. For some reason or other, he walks to the right. I can see him in an opening, and he picks his head up, and he looks towards a younger buck and turns around and starts walking right back to the left. Holy crap. <laughs> Can you believe that sucker? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe. <laughs> Talk to the man. <laughs> I cannot believe we just dropped that buck with the freaking air rifle. Oh my gosh. That was okay. So when you when you look back at hunts and you go, that one was bad luck, that one was bad luck, that one was bad luck, and then you have a hunt like that, that makes it all totally worth it. There's certain hunts that I think will stick with you forever, and you know, hunting with an air gun, it's, it's nothing I thought I would ever do. And to come out and shoot a deer like this, drop him in his tracks, you know, to have <laughs> the two or three bad hunts that we had leading up to this, dealing with cows and all kinds of things, and then for this to come right down to the end of our hunt, and, and it really is, everybody always says, you know, it's the last hunt of our trip. It really is pretty much the last hunt of our, hunt of our trip. We had tomorrow morning, and for this guy to walk out and play, play like that, it's definitely a special moment for me. I, I cannot believe that just happened. God, he's beautiful. Hunting with an air rifle was far more fun than I ever really thought it was gonna be. I'm hunting with a 50 caliber air gun. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know it was gonna have a recoil like this and, and shoot as well as it did and have the knockdown power that it did. I mean, I can equate it to a mix of, of muzzleloader hunting and crossbow hunting because you it's got the 50 caliber like a muzzleloader would, but you have to know your ranges like you would on a crossbow. It's kind of a mix in between the two and it was far more fun than I thought it could be because it allowed me to get out to some further ranges and I had the confidence in it that I knew I could make an ethical shot and, and I could put my faith in it. Learn more about the Umarex air rifles at umarexusa.com.